Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see how the oscillators are get classified and what are the different waveforms that can be produced by a sinusoidal oscillator. So let's begin with the talk. We know that oscillator is a device which produces output signal without any input signal of desired frequency. It only requires a DC power supply for producing output signal at the output. As long as the DC power supply is available, the oscillator produces sinusoidal or non-sinusoidal waveform at the output. Even if there is no any input signal, but because of the noise voltage present at the input, the oscillators can produce oscillations at the output with the help of DC power supply. Now based on the output produced by oscillator, there are two types of oscillator and they are sinusoidal and non-sinusoidal oscillator. Sinusoidal oscillators are those oscillators which produces output which is in the form of sine wave and they are called as sinusoidal oscillator or we can say harmonic oscillators. These oscillators produce oscillations having a frequency range from 20 Hz to 1 GHz. Whereas non-sinusoidal oscillator, as their name indicate, they produces either square, sawtooth or rectangular waveform at the output. Which that means except sine wave, all other types of wave can be produced by using a non-sinusoidal oscillator. They are also called as relaxation oscillator. And they produce a waveform at the frequency range of 0 to 20 MHz. Now, the sinusoidal oscillators get further classified into four different types and they are First one is LC or tuned circuit oscillators. As the name indicates, the LC or tuned circuit oscillator consists of inductor and capacitor for construction of oscillation circuit. These oscillator circuits are basically used to provide high frequency signals and therefore they are also called as radio frequency oscillators. Hartley oscillator, Colpit oscillator and Clap oscillator are the example of LC or tuned circuit oscillator. The second type of sinusoidal oscillator is nothing but RC oscillator. As the name indicates, the RC oscillator consists of resistor and capacitor. These type of oscillators are basically used for production of low frequency signal and therefore they are also called as audio frequency oscillator. RC phase shift oscillator and vane bridge oscillator are the example of RC oscillators. The next type of sinusoidal oscillator circuit is nothing but the crystal oscillator. This type of oscillator uses quartz crystal for generation of highly stabilized signal at the output. They provide a frequency range up to 10 MHz. The last type of sinusoidal oscillator is nothing but negative resistance oscillator. Negative resistance oscillator basically uses the negative resistor characteristics of tunnel diodes and therefore the tunnel diode oscillator are the example of negative resistance oscillator. Now moving towards the non-sinusoidal oscillator, there are three different types of non-sinusoidal oscillator which provides a frequency range from 0 to 20 MHz and they are multivibrator, swift generator and blocking oscillator. So this is what about the classification of sinusoidal and non-sinusoidal oscillators. But from the application point of view, we can come to know that the sinusoidal oscillator find variety of application in electronics and telecommunication system. The most common application of sinusoidal oscillator is nothing but the sine wave can be used as a carrier signal in case of modulation of audio and speech signal. The another type of applications that can be used by using a sine wave is nothing but the sine wave can be used for testing of frequency response of various circuits like filter, amplifier and many more circuits. So, the sinusoidal oscillator having many applications in case of electronics system. Now, let's see what type of output or what type of sinusoidal waveform can be produced at the output of different types of sinusoidal oscillator. So, the nature of sinusoidal oscillator, the two types of waveform that can be produced at the output of sinusoidal oscillator and they are damp oscillation and undamp oscillation. From the diagram itself, we can identify the difference between damp and undamp oscillation. In case of damp oscillation, the amplitude of the waveform is get reduces to zero. This reduction is because of the power loss that may occur in the oscillation circuit. 
If the power loss is high, the decrease in the amplitude becomes very high. Whereas in case of undamped oscillation, we can see that the output having constant amplitude and frequency. Therefore, undamped oscillations are those oscillations in which the output frequency and amplitude is remain fixed or constant. The undamped oscillations find many applications in electronic system and therefore the undamped oscillations are mostly used in electronic system as compared to damped oscillation. These types of oscillations are produced in an oscillator circuit where there is no power loss or less power loss. So these types of oscillations that is damped and undamped and the oscillations produced by sinusoidal oscillator at the output. So this is what about the classification of oscillator and nature of the waveform that can be produced by oscillator circuit. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.